what is going on everybody welcome back to another one of my videos today we're just going to be going over some of the rumors that we heard about the new battle royale that's actually going to be released in call of duty modern warfare now before i do say anything else or show you guys anything i do just want to make it clear as of right now these are rumors we haven't heard any specific facts or pictures or anything like that from the actual game developer itself these are just from pictures and stuff like that from reddit so i just want to make that clear throughout the video now this game so far actually if you do ask me i do enjoy this game actually a lot i do enjoy playing it there are some times that the matchmaking and spawns and stuff like that do get me annoyed and i just don't want to play it anymore but i do think that this game actually does have a lot of potential and with that being said i do have a feeling that battle royale is possible in this game now for starters this is actually going to have one map uh within that map there's actually going to be tiny zones similar to fortnite for those of you guys who have, have played it now, as far as the zones, the zones are going to be Airfield, Boneyard, Dam, Downtown, Gulag, Hospital, Layover, Lumber, Overgrown, Port, Quarry, Storage Town, Supercenter, Train Yard, and TV Station. Now, if this is real, who knows if these are going to be the actual maps. Honestly, I just have a general feeling that the whatever the maps are, they are going to have to do with past Call of Duties or even this general Call of Duty because I know there's actually been... Uh, news and least before about even maps like scrapyard and stuff like that So it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of maps and zones we're actually gonna see in this game now Other than the zones there's actually gonna be points of interest in this game. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work um, But those are actually gonna be the bank the fire station a gas station gun store pharmacy and a police station now like i said i'm not really sure how they would implement that in the game i'm just assuming that they'd probably have more exciting stuff going on in those actual points of interest now one thing that i actually do find crazy about this we've actually been used to having you know 100 player battle royales and stuff like that in this one they're actually claiming that it's going to be 200 players in a single game now that honestly seems really really crazy to me i can't even picture being in a lobby with 200 people with the lag and stuff so hopefully if it is 200 people i just hope it honestly does run smooth but you guys can see by the size of the map hopefully depending on whatever zones and the points of interest that we actually just talked about hopefully they're big enough to actually fit 200 people because if there is 200 people this map is going to be literally gigantic now in addition to this other stuff they actually did have a picture of the default options uh which actually basically explains that the player count is going to be 200 the playlist uh basically you're going to be able to play by yourself in pairs of two and squads which is going to be a max of four players the end game radar is going to be on, which basically shows whenever you're, the game's about to end, you can see where everybody is to make the game kind of go by a little bit faster. Infiltration option, you have the C-130, pre-game lobby, free-for-all on, which basically means as you're waiting for the game to load up, you're going to be able to go move around, do whatever you want. Post-game exfiltration is off. The max health is going to be 150, and then if you're actually in last stand health, um, that's going to be 100. Now, if you do actually get revived, um the health that you actually do go back into after last stand is the 30 you're not going to go back to the 100 so it's going to be a lot easier for you to actually get killed last stand timer is 60 seconds so if nobody revives you in those 60 seconds you die and you're out of the game and if somebody does actually revive you it's going to take them seven seconds to pick you back up and basically go back to that 30 health friendly fire punish limit two uh, after that i'm assuming you either get kicked out of the lobby or you just have to sit and watch and let everybody play now, one thing that's actually interesting, the gulag is actually on. That is something we're actually going to be talking about later on in the video. So don't sit there and confuse and wonder what a gulag is. But basically, just to give you guys a short rundown, the gulag is basically going to be a small little lobby for everybody that gets killed or downed in the actual main game itself. So you're not just going to sit there bored and wait for the whole game to actually finish. It's actually a really nice touch because honestly, I, I barely played Fortnite. But when I did, say if you're the first one dead and you have, you're playing with a squad of three or four... You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta wait for the whole game to finish. That could take up to 20 minutes. Now, one thing that we're actually seeing that's a little bit different is actually the ability to respawn. This is actually new to me. I've never seen another game doing this. But basically, the way it's gonna work is uh, respawn tokens can be looted after one use. Respawn tokens are disabled for the player. So basically, what it's trying to say is that as you're playing in the game, you basically go around, you find this respawn token, and if you do die you basically get to cash it in and you spawn back i'm not sure if it's talking about with all the guns and everything you had i do believe they actually said something about a, a mobile armory that you're gonna have to go find to basically get all your things back um because you won't spawn with all your stuff now this says to respawn a teammate obtain a respawn token then drop their body near an ambulance 
Once the body is dropped at the ambulance, the player will enter the gulag for a chance to win a 1v1 and respawn into the match. At some point during the match, the gulag will be closed and no longer usable, thus preventing respawn. So that actually makes sense because I'm pretty sure uh, maybe the last 5-10 minutes of the game or maybe even a certain amount of players are dead. It's not going to let you, you know, basically try and go back in and bring yourself back into the game. Once a player has respawned, they must locate and activate a mobile armory to retrieve the loadout. So that's actually what I was talking about before. You are going to have to find a mobile armory to basically get your stuff if you don't want to go around the map looting for more stuff. One thing they actually do have is missions. Battle Royale features missions which can be looted via finding tablets. Only one mission can be active for a squad at a time. I'm assuming this is just some basically in-game tasks and stuff that you guys could do as a group to basically I'm assuming either get loot or help you win the game I don't know I don't know too much about that either but it does sound pretty cool uh, the respawn I feel like would get annoying because once I kill somebody I feel like I want them dead not for them to get back in the game I feel like it would just make the game go by a lot longer especially with 200 people think about how long the game would last now a little about the mission types actually they do have certain mission types that you can get uh, by finding the tablets inside the actual map itself. Now those mission types are tracked, timed run, assassination, scavenger hunt, domination, and a random mission which we basically have no idea what could mean at this point. Now just a little rundown of basically how the game is going to be played. Um, similar to Fortnite, obviously that's another battle royale type of game. There is going to be different variants of weapons, armors, anything of that nature that you guys could get those are going to be white green purple blue and gold and uh, i'm assuming those are going to go from the worst to best uh you are going to have limited inventory space that's obvious you, you're not going to be able to carry 50 guns on you the requisition airdrop timer is 30 seconds all weapons attachments equipment fill upgrades and kill streaks from multiplayer are going to be available to be played with in battle royale you're also going to have gas masks, vests, helmets, bandages, ammo, backpacks, portable defibrillator, and plunder. You're not going to be able to hold two of the same weapons. It's actually not going to let you take um, a lower level armor than you already have equipped. And attachments and stuff like that that you're not going to be able to use with your certain setup is actually be placed in your backpack. And uh, you could actually find all stuff like that from supply grates, which um, you'll find throughout the map. Now just a little about the armor, there is actually going to be levels in this. Now I'm going to put a picture up on the screen. Um, I'm assuming there is actually a typo on the first part of the screen because it just says helmet level 1. I'm assuming it goes 1, 2, 3 or 3, 2, 1. Um, but basically the helmet level 1, reduce headshot damage by 30%, reduce the, flag, the effect of flash and concussion grenades. And then I'm assuming this would be level 2, which was, uh, reduces headshot damage by 30 and then the one under that would be reduces headshot damage by 15 and I'm assuming that would be the level 1 or the most basic one. Uh, as far as the ballistic vest and stuff that you guys could get, level 1 absorbs 50% damage, ballistic vest number 2 absorbs 150 damage and ballistic vest number 3 absorbs 150% damage and increasing healing item uses by 25 so that's actually a really big upgrade from the other levels. And it's going to be a lot more useful if you guys could actually end up finding it. Now you are actually going to be able to use some score streaks in Battle Royale. That's going to get more basically released as the game actually goes on. If this isn't just a rumor. Uh, one thing that I'm actually curious about and you guys are probably wondering too. Um, I actually said before, Plunder. Uh, plunder is basically going to be an extra way to earn XP um while you're playing the game here it says earn plunder by completing missions and eliminating enemies purchase game changing items at plunder box locations collect plunder and convert it into xp by depositing it into atm machines located throughout the game now this is actually cool things that do go on after you win the game uh if you do collect the most plunder the player who collects the most plunder in the match will be named the best plunderer there is a minimum amount of plunder required for depositing it into the bank. Plunder dropped from en eliminated enemies expires after some time. And when players enter a bank, the bank alarm will sound alerting all enemies within the vicinity. So I'm assuming it's basically just going to give away your position and you better get ready to start shooting. Now one cool thing we actually have about the gulag, which is basically the screen you go to when you die. Um, it's going to be a gulag prison camp, one-on-one -on -one single round match, when to respawn. 
When enabled, players will have a chance to respawn back into the match by winning a 1v1 fight. The Gulag acts as a King of the Hill style gauntlet, meaning players in the Gulag Quay spectate the players who are currently fighting in the Gulag. There will be a countdown on the screen indicating how many rounds are left until you fight. That's actually pretty cool because you know how long it's going to take for you to possibly get back into the game. A jailbreak happens every so often it kicks all the players out of the gulag and back into the match so that's basically like a, everyone gets out of jail free card and everyone just goes back into the game players will have the ability to place bets on the players who are fighting using plunder this is the what we just talked about so basically plunder is going to be like an in-game currency the more you collect the more you can do with it and I actually find out um this is actually really cool to me because i feel like there's a lot more that we're going to be able to do about it if this is actually true Alright, so that's actually all we've seen so far. Like I said, guys, in the beginning of the video, this is just a rumor. We're not sure 100% about what's going on, if this is even going to happen, or if these are even possible scenarios and facts that we've seen on this post. Honestly, if you ask me, it does seem pretty real. And I'm actually excited to see a Battle Royale coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare soon. Well, there you guys have it. That's actually all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You guys have been killing it lately. And if you guys are actually enjoying this video, please hit the like button. It basically helps me know what you guys like to watch, if you guys enjoy my content. And um, we can basically help me create better videos. Follow me on my social media links down in the description below. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.